Hello and welcome to the Alls Games Cooking Channel. Today I will tell you how to make the perfect deep fried rat. So what you want to do is first put some meat on the floor, some cheese, some lettuce, whatever it takes. Put it on the floor. That's where some rats will be attracted as we can see. We have two right here. We're going to take one. They appear to be dying of dread. It's not an issue though. We're gonna stick one right in the freezer with, with this one. Keep them in there for about a minute. That way they will be perfectly done. Let's do it without them being frozen for a bit. So we're gonna put them in the bin. I don't know what he's trying to do there. But now, we should be good. Take the frozen rat. You will have to keep it in the freezer for a bit longer as this was before. Now, there is a cat trying to get them. This is not very common. But if you quickly do that, um, and you have to take it over the restaurant. As you can see, our fellow rat is right there. And now we have him back in the restaurant. What you want to do is you want to flip him back and you want to rotate him so that he is either hanging in the water or just there so now the rat is being fried we will have to wait a bit for it to say way too fried once it says way too fried, we will be ready. In the meantime, you can cook some customer requests. Here we have some chips with sauce, but it's gone now. You have some plain chips. So, in the meantime, while we work for that, we can do this. Way better and tasty. The deep fried rat comes from the oranges of a Us land where the Among Us people were starving because there was not enough but there were a lot of rats there so they decided to deep fry the rats and it tasted all right so they kept doing it it's the main dish you find at Among Us land so it says way too fried so now you can take it over here at this point you should be dead wait for him to say call once it says call we can move on to our next step. You want chips? There's some chips. So he says call now, which is good. Next, if you want to get the fire extinguisher. This works way better if they're not holding anything, but at the same time it works better if they are. There are pros and cons to this. A pro is that um, you can hang them in the deep fryer. A con is that it, when you're burning them, you have to deal with the actual meat they're holding or whatever it is. Try to catch them before they grab it, as they will not let go of it for some reason. Once, once you've kept them in the freezer for long enough, take them out, blow them out with a the fire extinguisher. I waited a little too long and he's already out. But I do not care, and I'm gonna fire extinguish them anyway. This way, you can make them taste like carbon monoxide, and, or whatever the thing is you put in there. Only to be used during emergencies, apparently. So we're gonna throw the fire extinguisher away. And now, with our way too fried coal, frozen rat. We're going to serve him. Now, unfortunately, you can't put these on the plates. But what you can do is you can put them in front of him. You need a plate to serve it, but unfortunately, 
You can't put it on a plate. So, what happens in that case? Well, you... Who's cooking? Who's cooking fries? You you fry them, not cook them. Right. Anyway, what we have to do is we have to spawn a plate. It can be a plate of any size, any shape, as long as it's a plate that functions. And now, with somehow you can get them on. Thank you for watching this cooking tutorial. Stay around for more cooking tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.